Hello dear students, my name is Vikram Malade and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am working at SAT COE later in the country. Uh, in previous lecture of uh, automobile engineering, we covered uh, some classifications and uh, some of the basic components of an automobile. So uh, we covered about uh, the types of uh, frame suspension systems. So today uh, remaining portion will be covered. Uh, we will start from contents. So, uh, we will cover objectives and uh, components of an automobile. So, uh, objectives are to know and uh, study various components of an automobile. Uh, some of the components uh, we have covered, so we will continue from the remaining one. Uh, then, uh, we, uh, we had started the Excel in uh, previous uh, video lecture, so we will uh, continue from that point only. Generally, uh, what are the Excel? We need to understand uh, axles uh, act as uh, axis for the wheels to spin around. So uh, the beam type axle bear the load of the vehicle. So uh, generally, what type of load is acted on the axles are mentioned. Here. So uh, initially uh, the weight carrying portion of the axle, whether it may be front or rear, it may be considered as the beam supported at the end, loaded at two intermediate points, uh, spring centers and subjected to the following load. So these are the loads we will uh, discuss now. So these are the beams uh, which carries uh, different types of loads over it. So, uh, these are the vertical loads at the spring center due to the weight of the vehicle. So, uh, whatever the weight of the vehicle plus the weight of the passengers plus weight of the uh, luggage and other occupants, these directly uh, act vertically at spring center. Then, different uh, type of load acting over the axles are fore and aft loads at the wheel center that is due to the driving or braking effort. So in both cases, while uh, driving or during the uh, stopping, the effort is uh, uh, applied working over it. So such kind of uh, loads are applied over the axle. Then third type of uh, load which is applied in the form of the top axle, these are due to the uh, drive or braking. In similar cases, the top reactions are applied. Then uh, side thrust at a radius of the tire due to the centrifugal force when the moment uh, when the object uh, takes the turning in the rounding of uh, the There are uh, types of uh, live rear axles. These are the fully floating type, three quarter floating type and floating type. Uh, generally, the whole content of axle is uh, discussed in coming units thoroughly. So, we will discuss each and every point one by one about axle. So, here generally there are two types of uh, axle. One is called uh, live axle and uh, another is called dead axle. Uh, live and dead only difference is in the uh, carrying of uh, the differential gearboxes. So, uh, live axles, these are those axles which contain differential and uh, through which rotary motion is transmitted to the wheel. In these axles, there is a big housing for enclosing differential. And uh, in case of uh, the dead axles, generally these are those types of axles which do not contain differential. So, this is the basic difference. Live axles contain differential and dead axles does not contain differential gearbox. 
uh, these are simply uh, beams which support the uh, vehicle weight and uh, serve as an uh, axis for the wheel. These axes uh, have no concern with the power transmission system of the automobile. This is the reason why these axles are known as the dead axles. Then uh, next uh, we will discuss about uh, wheels. Uh, wheels are uh, very important uh, part of uh, a component of an automobile. Uh, generally wheels convert rotary motion into the longitudinal one. And it supports uh, the whole weight of the wheel. Uh, generally, there are uh, three types uh, we have uh, mentioned here uh, artillery uh, wheels, wire soap wheels, and steel disc wheels. Generally, these wheels are legs of the vehicle which carry it to far off distances. Uh, as these are the types, uh, this is the picture of uh, artillery uh, wheels. So, uh, you observe this picture in earlier days all the uh, tongas and uh, horse carts were carrying uh, even uh, bull carts uh, were also having such kind of artillery wheel using early uh, automobiles these wheels consisted of a wooden hub spokes and a rim having steel or solid uh, rubber tire just like tonga or uh, cart wheel then we will discuss about the uh, wire spoke wheel in earlier days. Uh, some of the bikes were uh, having uh, such kind of wire spokes. Nowadays, the uh, alloy wheels are there. Uh, in bicyclists, that is an example of a wire spoke vehicle uh, wheel. I'm sorry. Uh, then uh, these wire spoke wheels are quite popular in uh, motorcycle, although motor cars two were provided with these types of uh, wheels. Wire spoke wheels consist of uh, hubs, spokes or wires, rings, tires, tube, flap and uh, tube valve. Then uh, next is the uh, steel disc wheels. So this is the uh, steel uh, disc wheel. Uh, these are in common use with the modern vehicles. These uh, wheels consist of uh, rim and uh, ring or slit type ring, tires, tube, flap and tube valve. Uh, with the regard to the type of tire, these wheels can be classified into some categories. So these categories are here. That is the solid tire wheel and pneumatic tire wheel. So, uh, what are the uh, solid tire wheels in early vehicles? Solid uh, tire wheels were used. Solid uh, rubber tire was mounted over the rim of the wheels. So, uh, these wheels were much heavy and there were a uh, hurdle in the matter of the speed as it is uh, clear from the picture. This is the general uh, uh, diagram or the picture of the wheel. So different kind of uh, wheels in different sizes were in use. Those are called uh, solid tire wheels. Then uh, next type of uh, steel disc wheel is the uh, pneumatic tire wheel. Uh, in day to day life uh, we are observing some of the uh, wheels, some of the tire with tubes and some of the tubeless tire wheels. So these are over the wheels. So uh, in the case of uh, pneumatic tire wheels, these uh, use air as media between the tire tube and rim to cushion outro shocks. These wheels are much lighter than the uh, solid uh, tire wheels. All the modern vehicles are equipped with these uh, types of wheels whether they are wire spark wheels or uh, steel disc wheels. These wheels contain uh, tire and tube in place of the solid tire. Instead of this, 
has been replaced with tubeless tire and tire with tube. So uh, in uh, tube tire wheels, these are the tire with tube uh, wheels which contain both tube and tire but in case of tubeless tire which contain no tube here being uh, filled uh, into tire which is uh, sealed with the ring. So uh, many more uh, other types and uh, specifications and uh, other points of uh, wheels we will cover in uh, coming uh, units because this is the introductory part. So in first unit each uh, point uh, we will introduce for our better clarification. Then uh, next is the power plant. So power plant is one of the important part of uh, an automobile. Uh, here it is a picture of an engine which is a source of power to run all the functions in an automobile. Uh, that's why it is also called the power plant. You can consider this is very important part of an automobile without which no any processes, no any motions can be carried out. So uh, here uh, it is an engine, it is a prime mover uh, with the help of which heat energy obtained from fuel is converted into mechanical energy. So this conversion is uh, obtained only from this engine that is called the power plant. Uh, about power plant or about engine if uh, I would say that engine is the heart of the automobile. If it fails to work the vehicle is dead. It is one of the biggest units in the automobile. It is placed mostly in the front part of the vehicle. It is uh, also located in the rear as well as the middle of the chassis frame. In uh, long nose vehicles, the engine is seated in the nose. In certain vehicles, the cab is built over the engine. That is known as cab over engine or COE. The engine is uh, the engine in case of the box type bodies is located inside the body. A cover known as the bonnet is provided to keep the engine in the safe condition. The engine is fitted over the chassis frame by means of uh, rubber mounting in order to insulate it from the shocks. So uh, many more things are there to discuss about the power plant as it is mentioned here that it provides the motive power for all uh, various functions which is which the vehicle or any part of it may be called upon to perform. So motive power means we uh, obtain that heat energy in the form of the mechanical energy that is motive power. So it consists of uh, ice engine that is the internal combustion engine that may be spark ignition or uh, compression ignition type. So different types of uh, uh, engines till now were in use or are in use, gas turbines, uh, these have uh, also been uh, in, uh, in certain cars with good performances but limited that is due to cost. Then electric motors powered by batteries, uh, combination of uh, internal combustion engine and uh, an electric motor that have been uh, successfully employed in the hybrid vehicles. Uh, solar energy powered systems have also been tried but the most promising future power plant is the one based on fuel which would be zero emission vehicles. So nowadays uh, due to uh, advancement of technology we are getting uh, uh, engines better and better. So in today's lecture we will uh, finish up to this. In next lecture we will cover different 
parts of different components of an automobile.